the shop. Today I'm going to show you, I suppose, the, the best way to laser engrave a photograph onto wood material. Now, it's not as easy as it sounds. In fact, it's quite difficult. Okay, so you saw just now the photograph that I'm actually doing of a lion's head. I'm going to show you now the results that I, I've just come up with. Uh, and I pretty well know the settings of my 100 watt laser. Um, now the maximum power setting is set at 25 and the minimum is set at 1 because I know at 1 uh, percent that is it, uh, it doesn't fire. It starts firing at 2 percent. Okay now this top one here you can barely see that well the lion is there barely. Now that is set in Lightburn on the grayscale setting and it's a blur at best. Uh, the one underneath it it's set in the Jarvis setting which is a high resolution dithered picture. Now, I'm sure you, you all know what a dithered picture is. It's like newsprint, uh, not newsprint, but newspaper photographs on paper. That is dithered photographs. It's actually made up of spots. So, okay, this, there's a little bit more clarity there. So it's showing an improvement. But the grain of the wood or the different grains of the wood and you can see here this area the untouched area is pretty good you know but there's different mass then uh, of wood in the grain in other words the laser finds it harder to get through harder grained wood than what it does the softer grain so when you're dithering, when you're trying to put a, a photograph into, in this case, pine, the grain of the wood actually plays a, you know, a big part in things. As you can see, if I can get the light right, you can see there that it does, you know, play a big uh, part. And I can hear quite a few of you saying, oh yes, but you're doing the picture on the on vertical grain. There it is on horizontal grain. And that's it's still the same dithered, I'm trying not to get it glary. It's very difficult to get, uh, you know, the lighting just right in, uh, in the shop here. But you can see it look it does appear a little better across the grain um, and I dare say you know if I sort of picked an area you know an area with a knot it's going to be awful um, I'm going to try and find a piece of wood where the grain is more even I'll let you see how that comes out I'll let you I'll video the laser actually doing it. Um, speed it up, all right, because this takes probably maybe four to five minutes to do. You know, I've got the step over set at 0 0.1 of a millimeter, um, so it's 10 passes per millimeter and it's running the speed is running at 500 millimeters per second which is uh, fairly normal for engraving for you know my 100 watt laser uh, not engraving actually laying down a photograph 
and uh, let's see what we come up with. Right, so I've picked an area here which is, you know, sort of pretty void of, should we say, imperfections or grain. So we'll see how that goes. So let's uh, do the origin, do a frame, and we'll run that. Okay, so that's showing, you know, a bit of, a bit of improvement. So, you know, if you can get material that, you know, has less of a, a grain in it, and you can sort of tell where it starts to go a bit darker there and a bit darker here, you know, it's not even, and in this area here, well, it hasn't really done anything at all. Try a different material, maybe. Okay, so this time, this is a piece of hardwood thin, hardwood ply. It's, you know, it's pretty even. Let's see what the laser makes of this. Put a couple of magnets on it, just to make sure it doesn't float around. That should be fine. I've already done the focus with this, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, well I stopped the program there because, well you could see that it was just putting the top layer off and you know you would think being a hardwood that it would you know be a better result but no it's ten times worse so I'm going to try a little something I'm just going to try and knock the power back so let's open this and you can see that I've got it on Jarvis. Um, you see the caption here, high quality dither. In almost circumstances that comes out a lot better. Um, I'm going to take this all the way back down to probably 12%. Uh, I'm going to take this, I'm going to leave that at 1%. Uh, no blowing, so that means it's uh, going to be a low pressure blow. And I'm going to OK that. Okay, so that's quite a quite an improvement, but you know we've lost the picture on this side still, um, and you know I thought I'd alter the settings again and um, try on the other side, and lo and behold, it's <laughs> it looks like it's it's a totally different material. Um, I don't think, I think it's something like ash. But you know what, I'm going to try the same settings as this on this material, just to see what difference that makes. Right, this time I've altered the power settings to a high power of 
and a low power of zero. I, you know, I want to see what difference this makes. That is not bad. Um, I don't think you'd probably get it too much better than that on this material, but do notice that this wood veneer then is uh, pretty even and uh, it doesn't do a, you know, a too bad a job. Um, but this also proves that the quality of picture plays a big part. Now I have not enhanced this picture at all, I haven't turned the contrast up on it at all. Now that helps as well. If you turn, you know, sort of put it through a filtering program and uh, bring the contrast up on it, um, that will also make a difference. Um, but I'm, I'm trying to show you um, how to lay down a photograph with a laser, you know, uh, in its basic form then. So there's a small insight to photo engraving with a 100 watt laser. Incidentally, I'm using a 2 inch lens, which is, you know, a good all rounder. And I hope this video has been a help to you. If you've liked the video, please like and subscribe. And uh, if you really like what I'm doing, uh, you may consider becoming a patron to the channel because uh, it is the patrons behind the channel that uh, enable me to keep making videos. So, thank you for watching, and it's bye for now.